Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Free2244 and welcome to the T47 challenge in Berlin. I'm going to be doing a silent assassin as well. So what this challenge requires us to do is take out five targets with a shotgun while disguised as a biker and escape with the motorcycle. So we're going to start at the radio tower because it gives us the option to see all the targets on the map. Also, we start off in our suit. Obviously, it's going to be a low mastery level to get to the radio tower as well. So we're going to bring along the H MRAM HV Covert, which is the suppressed shotgun. You can bring along the one from Carpathia Mountains, but it's only got four shells, so that's the reason why I'm bringing this. You can unlock this from featured contracts, I think, or escalations. I can't remember which one, but you want to bring along that with the smuggled in your briefcase. Uh, we're going to bring along the coins and a pistol, and that is all we're going to need. So if you have just got the white shotgun that you unlock from Carpathia Mountains, we are going to get some extra shells from the room where we take out the targets anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. Also, if you only got a loud shotgun, if you take out the two uh, guards hanging outside the door a little bit later on, you can effectively use a loud shotgun if you want to, which is behind the desk. So you don't even need a shotgun for this. So I'll, I'll advise that a little bit later on. So for the first thing you need to do is get into the uh, Berlin itself, into the building itself. So we need to have this shortcut unlocked over here. It's an incredibly easy shortcut to unlock. You just need to come around the back of this... Uh, uh, back of the entrance way and open that and you'll be able to have that shortcut unlocked at all times now we need to make our way to Hirsch Miller's office which is the club owner so if you don't know where that is it's like uh, past the dance floor right at the back near where the DJ booth is so you just follow the snaking staircases and we'll be able to get there in a short while yeah, the downside of this is there's a lot of running around in Berlin, but it's a good map. I like it. So we actually figured out a strategy for this on live stream like a few days ago, but uh, I decided to try something else that I had in mind in regards to the meeting, and it worked out straight away. So I went ahead and uh, repeated it a few times, and it was consistent, so I recorded it, and this is what I came up with. So we need to take out the shotgun once we come to this area, leave the briefcase in the corner, climb the ladder, and we do need to take out this camera above the door. We'll just take that out. Just in case we get spotted by that a little bit later on. The target is going to be in front of us there, coming down the staircase with his bodyguard. We're going to need to take out that guard that's behind him. Um, we just need to get rid of him because we don't want him to spoil anything a little bit later on. So to do that, we need to let them do their thing. They're going to go to the, towards the left and then they're going to go circle back and go into the security room to the right and as soon as the target goes into that room that's when we're going to throw the coin to distract the guard so if you just want to follow what I'm about to do it should be easy enough to actually take out this guard so we're just going to wait for them to turn back So it's important to throw this coin when the target is in the other room, otherwise the target will come himself, which is weird. So as soon as he enters that room, that's when you want to throw the coin there. That's going to distract the guard but behind him, which is the person we want to get. So as soon as he goes over to investigate, we can go drop down, drop down again, and subdue him. Once we've done that, going to pick up his gun and just dump his body in the crate. Now we just need to head into the room itself. There's going to be two bikers in here and a club owner. Once you're in the room, it's going to turn on this record player. Leave it on until his uh, Hirsch Miller is distracted. So there we go. So turn that off. Now we're going to hide all behind these crates. So we're just going to subdue from around the corner. It's very quick, very easy. Now just go ahead and put his body in the nearby closet. We're also going to take his disguise and pick up the phone book that he drops on the floor as well. Once you've done that, you're going to pull out your coin now and throw it on the floor just behind this, uh, this counter. 
That's going to distract one of the bikers, and we're going to we need his disguise to complete this challenge. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So the other one is just going to walk away, so you don't need to worry about him. We're going to do the subdue from around the corner again. So you just want to press the subdue button when he gets nearby. Grab his pistol on the floor, and then start the uh, engage the meeting thing. Right, once we've done that, we need to drag this body by the desk. We're going to sit on the on the chair, but we need to do it as Hush Miller, otherwise it's not going to work. So take his disguise when he's placed behind the desk, and then go and drag his body in the nearby closet. Once we've done that, go and put the Hush Miller disguise back on, and then take a seat and sit back down. So, if we just sat back down as a biker, when Montgomery comes into the room, or is it Chamberlain? I can't remember which one it is now. But one of the, one, of, one of them comes into the room, they'll immediately be hostile, and that's not what we want. So, we want to make sure that we are wearing this disguise, otherwise this isn't going to work. Then all five of them will come into the room. And once we kick the desk over, uh, we can grab the shotgun from the back of the desk if you don't have a shotgun, or if you want to get more shells, grab that. And... Make sure you put the disguise on first before you start shooting them. Now, if you've only got a loud shotgun, you see those two guards that are standing outside. Before you make that call to arrange the meeting, coin them into this room and then take them out and then drag them into the nearby room that's just behind 47 now. There's going to be a crate in there. You can take them out and leave them in there. So when you use a loud shotgun, it's not going to alert anybody around that area. So that's how you do it if you don't have a shotgun with you. Because there is a sawn off shotgun just underneath this desk right here. But any shotgun will do for this. Preferably suppress one so you don't have to bother with the hassle of actually knocking those two guards outside the room. So just bear that in mind. But we're just going to wait for everybody to come into the room first before we flip the desk. Wait for all the doors to close and everyone to stand still. And whenever you're ready, a legend. Legends die. I kick the table over, put the disguise on, and then blast away with your shotgun. They're all using suppressed guns, so again, they're not going to alert anybody outside. There we go. Now that's all taken care of, that's uh, all five targets taken care of, so what we need to do now is just head to the exit, we need to make sure we take the motorcycle keys and avoid the camera once we get to the top of these stairs. So we just need to be alert, you don't get spotted by a camera. Just watch out for the grid on the floor. As long as it's looking away, it won't spot you. If you have got spotted there though, you will have to go and take out the evidence, which is going to be a couple of floors above where we have to get off here. So, one more floor up. Here it is. It's where we need to be. So the uh, the ca cameras are going to be upstairs if you want to take those out. But we need to be on this floor because we need to go and grab the motorcycle keys. It's going to be over here. Once we've got that, we can now head to the exit where the motorcycle is. And then take the motorcycle to complete the challenge. So it's a very easy Sonnet Assassin if you're going for the T-47 challenge. You can easily do that suit only as well. So this could be doubled as a Sonnet Assassin suit only if you wanted to do this kind of method for that. It's completely liable if you want to do it. But it's completely up to you if you want to go ahead and do that. But uh, yeah, I have a more, of a, more of an efficient Sonnet Assassin suit only coming up shortly on the channel. So stay tuned for that. But that's how you do the T-47 challenge if you want a silent assassin rating as well. It's a really easy guide, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video as well, subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon, or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below, or clicking the link in the description. Big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark, Constantine, and 
to Crazy Jesus for coming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. All these credits have been upload updated for the month of February. So if you were supporting me during the month of January, you should see all your names pop up there. So thank you very much for all your support recently. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.